In this video, I'm talking about eating when you're bored and how to use your psychology to get yourself to stop instead of trying to use tools like locking food away, keeping sugar out of the house, all these environmental things that don't work. Really quick before I get started, allow me to briefly introduce myself. My name is Carrie. I'm the creator of Psycho Spiritual Wellness, and that is an approach to stop compulsive eating rooted 100% in psychological and spiritual practices. Today we're talking about boredom eating, and this is this is actually an interesting topic because at first glance, boredom eating would seem straightforward. We're eating because we're bored. It's kind of like a form of emotional eating, but when we're emotional eating, we're attempting to numb negative emotions. But with boredom eating, it's almost like we're eating to gain joy and pleasure. And you should check out my video on hedonic eating because I have a feeling that if you're eating when you're bored, hedonic eating might be a thing. So I will linky link up here and also down below in the description for you to watch that one. But today I'm talking about boredom eating aside from hedonic eating. So I can pretty much boil all of it down to this. If you're eating when you're bored, I am pretty sure that if you look underneath the hood, there will be another emotion underneath the boredom that you don't want to feel. And one of my mottos with Psycho Spiritual Wellness is that whenever there is the desire to eat when you're not hungry, it's because there's a feeling that you don't want to feel. So a lot of us really struggle with this at first. Our boredom feels very legit. It feels really justified. It's like, no, I am bored. I am listless. This is the only thing that I am feeling and I just want out of it like I just want to occupy myself eating is just what can occupy me but the people that say these things I guarantee you have not given the stop drop and feel a try when they are bored now the stop drop and feel is my number one tool to stop compulsive eating again I will link to the video here and down below in the description the stop, drop, and feel is has, and has always been my number one tool to stop compulsive eating because it allows us to look under the hood, and this is key to stop eating when you're bored. So to do the stop, drop, and feel, you stop yourself before you're about to eat when you're not hungry, you drop into your body and ask yourself, what am I feeling? And boredom is usually a secondary emotion, and that means that it stems from a primary emotion. So when we're bored, and we only really feel bored, it doesn't mean that there isn't another emotion floating around somewhere. It just means that we can't access it, we can't even see it, we can't even feel it, so we're in denial that it's there. And so my guess is that if you feel the desire to eat when you're bored, and you go and you take the time to do a very classic stop, drop, and feel, you go to another room, you set your timer for two minutes, and you drop into your body, I am convinced that you are going to arrive at some sort of uncomfortable emotion. And that emotion could be loneliness, it could be the fear of failure, it could be the fear of missing out, it could be anxiety, depression, it could be a lot of different things. And that's why boredom eating, that's why we don't want to look under the hood. You know, no one ever wants to do the stop, drop, and feel. It's a hard sell. I created the thing and I don't even want to do the stop, drop, and feel most of the time. But I make myself do it because it works. It takes the compulsion out of compulsive eating. And so then it just becomes eating. And I already firmly believe that you have enough flow power to decide not to eat when you're not hungry if that's really what would honor your body and what would feel good to you. It's just when the compulsion is there that we can't access that willpower. Again, I have a really good video on willpower. It's one of my favorites. A linky link up here and down below in the description. And so, now that you understand the philosophy behind why we feel the desire to eat when we're bored and how to stop, which is the stop, drop, and feel, um, please allow me to give you a really quick example. 
want the mo the only time I ever really struggle with eating when I'm bored it's it's not a huge one that I struggle with but it is one that I hear from you guys often or at least with consistency and if I'm working from home and I have this big project hmm, like a YouTube video that I want to film it's really hard for me to get myself to sit down and do it right here this this right here this is magic this is rare and what I find is I find myself gravitating towards the kitchen, wanting to snack, and it feels like I am bored and I don't want to be working. But I also know better than that because I know that I'm not just bored. I know that putting your face on the internet in video form is nerve wracking. It really is. It takes a lot of courage and guts to film these videos and put them on the internet. It, it might not take courage to everyone, but for me, it's not my favorite activity, but I do it for you guys, and I do it to try and be helpful. And so for me, in that moment, I'm not eating when I'm bored. I'm not feeling drawn to boredom eating because I am just bored. Sure, boredom might be a real emotion that's happening, but underneath the surface, if I walk into the other room, I set my timer for two minutes, and I do the stop, drop, and feel, and I drop in and get curious. It will usually hit me like a Mack truck. It's like, oh, I am avoiding a big and scary thing. I'm afraid of judging. Um, I'm afraid of being judged. I'm afraid of not making a video that's good enough. I'm afraid of making a video, and I myself am going to criticize it, or other people are going to criticize it. And so it's all of these other emotions that are sitting underneath the boredom. But, while it's happening, while you're feeling bored and feeling drawn to eat when you're bored, it never feels like there's another emotion. And so that's the catch, is that it doesn't feel like there's another emotion there begging for your attention, but there is. I promise that there is. And the only way to figure it out is to just try the stop, drop, and feel. And I hope that you do it. I hope that you get to try the stop, drop, and feel the next time you're feeling drawn to eat when you're bored. And leave me a comment below sharing your experience. I would love to hear from you and I would love to help you if you have any questions. And that's about it. This is two videos in two weeks if I'm editing and uploading these as I'm filming them. And I'm very proud of myself. Um, I went nine months without filming a single one and now I'm filming two at once. So, um, so I'm gonna pat myself on the back for that one. I hope you guys found it helpful, <laughs> and I will see you guys again for the next one. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. It really helps support my channel when you subscribe, and it would really mean a lot to me. And again, please leave your comments and questions below. I will be looking out for them, and I look forward to hearing from you. See you guys next time. Boo! We're filming! <laughs> okay.